Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, then my name's Paul Reed and I'm a professional photographer. Just to let you know, I now have a shop on my website and there's a number of things which are available there. One of the things is vouchers for workshops. So I've got a number of workshops all throughout next year. The only ones that I've got there on show on my website is for January, February and March. And there's some spaces left on most of those. So one of those vouchers would be a great gift for somebody or a gift to ask somebody for. So if you wanna come on one of my workshops next year, then ask the wife or ask the husband or boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever, ask them to get you one of those vouchers so that you can get along on one of my workshops. Another thing which you might be interested, which is on my website, is I've got this limited edition instant photo time traveler pack. Now this is something which is just brilliant. There's only a hundred issues of it, and I just thought it'd be something that's on the lower end of cost so that people can just, you know, people just want a little piece of the time traveler. And I thought that would have, was a great way to do that. Not everybody can afford one of my platinum palladium prints, so that's a great way to just have a little collector's item. Some people have got them on display, and you know, there's a good few of those already gone out. They're not here forever, there's only a hundred that can be made, so go over and get one of those. I've been looking for some form of smoke machine for some of my fine art stuff for ages. In fact, it's like it's it's almost funny in the things that I've tried to use for smoke effects I bought these tablet things that you set on fire and you know it, I might as well have just lit a match so I was really happy whenever Pergia I think that's how you say their name P-E-R-G-E-A-R Pergia they sent me this and I was like yeah I'll definitely try this thing out because it's just what I wanted for like a, a bunch of photos that I wanted to take. So it, look, I have tried it out. Now the places where I tried it out, I tried it out on the beach and you, there's just so much wind on the beach that it just didn't do what I wanted it to do on the beach. But I've got loads of other things to try it out with. Hopefully this won't set off my smoke alarm. Better knock it off. I think I've got away with it. Basically, it has set my smoke alarm off here the last time I used this. So I think my smoke alarms are like old or something because surely, you know, this shouldn't be setting smoke alarms off. It looks like one of those vape things, doesn't it? And, and I think that kind of is the technology behind it, is it's heating up the fog liquid. But I tried it out and it, you know, it, it is definitely gonna come in handy this, and I, I'm looking forward to showing you some of those other shoots. But the shoot that I was doing, and I did the shoot on film, I used my Leica M6 and I used Tri-X film, was another metalhead photo shoot. And it was a bit of an unplanned metal head shoot, but I'll I'll just kind of cut to what was going on there because you'll see you'll see us laughing here because the smoke just didn't really do what we wanted it to do. I hate it when I'm looking at myself, not at the flipping well, video. Well, look at the camera. Well, That's I'm... what I do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've we've just done a, a little shoot there and tried to use the smoke machine, which had mixed results really because um, <laughs> <laughs> because I don't look the wind. There's a lot of wind on the beach. It is the, probably the windiest place where you could go. So that's probably why it wasn't kind of as much of the smoke that I expected that it would be, but. <laughs> <laughs> saying that it wasn't bad you know it wasn't bad um as you'll see from the from the clips but i had this brilliant idea 
right? I had this amazing idea that maybe a, we would make a fire for Metalhead and stuff. And <laughs> <laughs> right, <Sorry. laughs> okay. So it wasn't my idea about the, making the fire and the smoke coming out of it. It was Khadija's idea. Um, so you know that definitely worked better. And obviously, we'll see what those photos come like, come like, <laughs> come out like. Whenever I've developed the film, you get a whole bunch of attachments with with this thing, so that you can like simulate dry ice, and there's like another other little fan thing that goes on the top, which kind of disperses the fog in a different manner. There's like this fan in in this as well that goes on the top of it. There's a whole bunch of things that you can use it for, and yeah, I'm excited about using it. But uh, you know, I'll, I'll I'll save that for a, another video sometime. So I love telling stories with photography I, I just love telling stories and i love making characters up and metalhead and the time traveler are kind of like my two running characters and there's two running stories there now the time traveler one is maybe a little bit easier to kind of almost imagine your own stories and understand where i'm coming from but metalhead may confuse people a little bit so i'm going to tell you a little bit about metalhead metalhead comes from a world that's made up entirely of water and she embarked on a journey to our world through curiosity and wanted to understand humanity and find a sense of belonging. Metalhead is full of love and displays that love for all to see. However, upon her arrival she quickly realised that her helmet set her apart from everybody else and she was a subject of curiosity and misunderstanding. Desperate to feel accepted, Metalhead looked for a way to remove her helmet. She believed that if she could show her true face, humans would see the love in her heart and embrace her as one of their own. But the greatest doctors and scientists of the land were perplexed by Metalhead's unique nature and were unwilling to assist in her quest. As time passed, Metalhead found herself feeling alone and rejected living as an outcast on the coast and that's as far as that story <laughs> that's as far as that story is at the moment that's my story and i don't often tell my story in words as to what i'm doing with some of these things but this is kind of what's in my mind for this character at the moment and i'm just having so much fun shooting it and and I'm just enjoying using film to shoot it as well. Most of those photographs there were all shot on film, a lot of them on Tri-X. And they're all 35mm film as well, which is fantastic because it just shows that 35mm film is actually better than what you think. Only a couple of those images are actually digital. And then there's one that's a 6x6 medium format image but all the rest are actually 35mm film. As long as you expose your images the way that you want them exposed when you're shooting 35mm film, then you're not going to have to bring up shadows and everything too much because that's where the noise creeps in is when you're trying to bring out all those shadows. In fact, you're probably better shooting overexposed slightly on film just because those highlights are so much easier to bring back than actually bringing the shadows up. I use a Fuji X-H2 and I use this 60 millimeter Fuji lens, which is a macro lens and it's a 2.4 aperture lens. This is a great lens for scanning. I then copy all of those images onto my hard drive and then I import them into Lightroom Classic. Because I use Negative Lab Pro, in order to process my scans, I have to use Lightroom Classic because the other Lightroom doesn't support plugins. So once I've imported those and I've converted them all to positives, and when I do that, I actually, you know, I don't fiddle about too much with all the sliders. I just get it to where it's pretty much a flat image because what I don't want to do is then crush any blacks or the highlights are too high because what I want is a nice raw file afterwards that I'm going to use in Lightroom, just normal Lightroom, in order to basically do my final edit. And then I just edit them the same way that I would edit 
a like a q2 monochrome file so there you go everybody it's nearly christmas so the next time i see you will probably be just after thanks again everybody for watching and thanks for all your support this year it's been amazing i'll see you just after christmas